Okay, check out what we just pulled off the trailer here. Kawasaki Mule Diesel, but it's not a diesel. Predator 420 or something. Yeah. Supper time right now though, so <laughs> what happened there? Let's check it out. We got no bumper. The radiator, because you don't need a radiator. You don't need a radiator with the Predator engine. All right. So there we go. Predator 420. Gonna have to put a better air filter on, get it ran out from under so it doesn't suck mud. Choke cable doesn't work properly, it's rusted. We gotta probably replace it. Throttle cable, for some reason, pulled right out of the linkage here. So now it goes super slow. So we gotta repair that. Throttle cable. Oh, throttle cable came off. Oh, we have screwdrivers. Otherwise, that looks to be the original transmission. Uh, pull start, but we're working on getting the battery hooked up. Well, actually, we have a battery hooked up, but battery's dead, so that battery's no good. Gotta put a different one on. This bar was added to give it extra height because that's higher than the original engine. All this stuff was gutted. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, Got to grease things, get them all lubricated. Everything's rusty and old. Rusty. All right, let's check out this side. See what the transmission and belts look like. Okay, so we got a Comet CVT from here to here. And then, here's one of our problems. The chain's a little too loose. We tried taking out a link and it won't reach. But this link in, it's a little loose and, see look at that, it kind of isn't the greatest and we already broke it once. Twice. Yep. So that needs some work. Thinking we might need to put a chain tensioner on there. I don't know. Right now, to repair it, look at that excellent repair job. Yeah, we got a bolt with a nut. That ain't gonna last very long. Yep. Otherwise it seems to be working. Smaller engine than originally came with. This actually used to be a diesel. Um, wish it still had the diesel. But then we wouldn't have been able to buy it for the price we got it for, which as you can guess was pretty cheap with all these problems. Oh yeah, check out the shock here. Yep. Dirty. Just got the battery strapped to there. Choke cable won't go in or out. It's rusted. Otherwise, yeah, transmission selector from up here works. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive. That has some issues. Need to get a windshield on it. At least it has a roof. Yeah, there we go. So if you're wondering if you can 
swap a Predator 420 into your Kawasaki Mule, you can. You need some work though. All right, so we're gonna pull start this thing here because the battery's dead. I'll try, but I bet it's just gonna click. All right, so we'll put the choke on. Go ahead and come over here. All right, manually you gotta do the choke. Oh, and we lubricated it so the spring sucks it back. We should have left it all grimy. There we go. Okay, now we turn the key on and let's give it a try. Yeah, all right, go and back up a little. Okay, go and pull start it here. Okay, looks ugly, but we put a bolt with two knots for the throttle. Hopefully that works better. Alright, we've still been working on the mule UTV here, so we've got a winch on it now, starting to build some kind of a front so it looks halfway decent. Uh, we got the battery attached. That's a huge win because now even a kid can start it because it's not lifting the back and pulling the strings. So check it out. We got a choke working on it. Then just reach under and turn the key. Yeah, making progress. Parts for the chain should be coming today. We got a chain tensioner. Yeah, speedometer's working, so now we're gonna have to get some lights on here.
golf cart. And now the Kawasaki Mule. 